check these flowers out. I'm gonna get some of these from my mama's crib. Zit. It's them. Well, let them in. Hey, Spicer, what's up, man? Hey, don't use my name like that, dog. They just take care of a little bit so I can be on my way. All right, man, that's cool. Here's the deal. Where's the cash? Yeah, is this shit legit? This legit? Where's the cash? That's cool. You want to counter? No, I trust you, dog. No problem. Oh, man, what's that gun for? What do you mean, this? What, are you tripping? You're paranoid? You don't trust me? Oh, man, I trust you. Oh, you do trust me then, don't you? I trust yeah, you. Good. Where the hell your business, dog? Let's raise the body here. OK, gentlemen, today's operation is going to be at 106 Cedric Taylor Boulevard. Third time we've been to this location. It's the residence of one Bodrell Spicer. Baudrell is moving a large amount of crack cocaine from the Washington Park area, and he's aware of the fact that if he gets arrested for the third time, he's probably going away for a very long time. He not only has added uh, stronger bars to both the front and rear doors, he's also added bars to all the windows, including the large picture window in the front. Uh, there is probably uh, motion detectors, both front and rear. The last two times we were in there, we found numerous handguns and shotguns inside the house. This place is going to be like a fortress for us to get inside this time. He's told uh, informants that he's not going to be taken alive and arrested again. Check out the light one time. Hey, man, it's your cat, man. You check on it. Just as tired as you, man. You check on it, man. Been rolling all day. satisfaction that you were able to, to get the bad guy and nobody got hurt and there's a satisfaction in knowing that maybe you've done something good for society that you've got somebody off of the streets that needed to be off of the streets when the bad guys come up against my team they almost always lose you know they always lose this drug bust broke up one of the major cocaine rings east of the Mississippi. The case had been under investigation for over a year and resulted in 23 other indictments, followed by convictions resulting in various prison terms. The team's leader, Illinois Master Sergeant Bramlett, supervised over 90 similar operations in the state of Illinois last year alone. <laughs> 